Hello, good evening everyone. Today we're going to actually talk about a little bit about natting on VirtualBox. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but in VirtualBox there's a natted network that I had a trouble, I ha I've had trouble in the past, and I had to figure it out, you know, very long time ago, but it's very annoying. For an example, if I do an IP config on my Windows box, and if I do an if config on my Linux box. They are both the same IP, 10.0.2.15. This is the default IP address right out of VirtualBox. So we're going to try to make this video short and sweet, just for informational purposes, um, just to get it out there, because I know many people have questions about this. And I've seen it on forums, and I've got some requests um, through my social media as well, because you know people say they set up some labs and having issues with getting like a Windows box or a Metasploitable, which we're going to talk about in an upcoming video, um, getting Metasploitable installed. And it's an awesome little tool to actually learn. But we'll, we'll get into that um, in the next video. So for this video, we're just going to talk about getting these two machines to talk. For an example, if I try to ping 10.0.2.15, Sorry, ping my num locks off 10.0.2.15. That's the local IP here, right? But if I'm going to go here, it's going to ping the same thing uh, 0.2.15. And this is itself, right? So let's stop these pings. So now, but if I wanted to. Just do an IP route here. See, it's the same exact IP, um, and they're not going to be able to communicate with each other. Uh, so let's get that network started and configured. So what we're going to do is go into the um, VMware, uh, not VMware, sorry, uh, VirtualBox Manager. Go to Tools up top on the left. Let's go to Preferences. We're going to create a new network. Let's add this little NIC. And NAT network, that is the name of the network, but we're gonna, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna put like infosec pat. And we're gonna change the IP cider, uh, the IP, the network, um, to something that we can identify that's different from the 10.0.2 network. So I'm just gonna put 192.168.98. Um, I'm gonna just gonna be a 24 bit mask. Okay. So obviously we want to support DHCP, so both the machines get DHCP addresses. So let's hit OK here. We have that network set up now. Let's go ahead and OK. Now let's go back to the VMs. And now we have to change the IP for these two and change the NIC. So we can do that a few ways, but we can go to Virtual Machine Settings, Network, NAT Network, and here we're going to have InfoSec PAT Network. Okay, we're going to do that with the Windows machine as well. So let that apply. Let's go to settings, network, network, uh, NAT network, uh, InfoSec PAT. Let that apply. Let's give that a second. Let's probably just pull the new IP address. Okay. Oh yes, yeah, CLS. All right, now if I do an IP config, now it's 192.168.99.5. Now that is our new IP. Now let's go here. Let's do an if config because we're on a Linux machine. Now we have dot four. So now if I do, if I ping 192, 192.168.99.99.5. Now I'm able to communicate with this box. Now let's stop that so it doesn't go on forever. And now let's uh, let's ping dot four on the other side. And two one sixty eight dot ninety nine dot four. And now now we have those two communicating. If you guys had any questions, um, like I said, I want to keep this short and sweet. 
just for some of the people out there to get this little issue resolved because I know like I said in the beginning I know some people had some questions so I just wanted to make that video to um, help those out there that were having this issue with VirtualBox so that's the way to actually get it on a different network from the default 10.0.2 network and hopefully this is very helpful and if you don't mind just please subscribe like the video if you have any other inquiries any other questions feel free to comment uh, my social media and everything will be down below just reach out to me and um, we can go from there thank you for watching and have a wonderful evening